Breakthrough, UC builds better tests of animal vision. I'm Steve Blair, welcome to Breakthroughs. Fiddler crabs have a simple solution to life's daily pearls, run. University of Cincinnati biologists are using this compulsive to test the crab's color vision using simple modified electronics. UC associate professor John Lane studies fiddler crabs, little saltwater crustaceans named for the way the male waves one oversized claw as if playing a violin. Scientists have long known that fiddler crabs have cells sensitive to UV and green light and at least one species that Lynn studies may also be sensitive to a third wavelength. In theory, this vision could be somewhat similar to ours, called trichromatic. Most people can detect a huge variety of colors, more than a million. We can even tell when one shade is slightly different than another. Lane wants to know if crabs can do likewise. Lane and his students created a miniature movie theater which uses a stripped down liquid crystal display like the kind found in many computer monitors. The crab is placed in a little glass arena under a tilted screen projecting a video illuminated in color by blue and green light emitting diodes. The video shows a looming stimulus, a round ball that appears to approach the crabs quickly on screen, like the famous boulder scene in Raiders of the Lost Ark. They run like a bat out of hell. The reaction is not subtle. They will sprint really fast and bang into the wall. The consistent reaction to the approach in virtual balls helps UC biologists measure the spectrum of visual light the crabs can see. We're using it to test color discrimination. For an animal to have color vision, what they really mean is the ability to discriminate different wavelengths of light. They can see green light, they can see blue light, but can they tell the difference? That's the test. Researchers have only begun to explore the complex visual abilities of animals. While we can see about 1 million colors, some spiders are believed to see 100 times that. And the reigning record holder? Scientists believe it's the mantis shrimp, which has four times as many color receptors as we do. Just having these color cells doesn't mean they use them for color vision like we do. They might just have these cells that cover more of the spectrum to cover more light. That would be advantageous for animals that live in dim or dark conditions. Fiddler crabs usually have the opposite problem, too much light. Their eyes sit on tall eye stalks that serve as periscopes to peer across the mud flaps. Their eyes wrap around the tips of these eye stalks. Part of their eye is staring at the sun at all times. That is a problem for them. They compensate with screening pigments that prevent their vision cells from getting fried by excessive solar radiation. For their experiments, UC researchers assembled a panel full of bright green and blue LEDs. The green lights on the board seem to shine more brightly than the subdued blue ones, but Lane says it's an optical illusion. The machine tells us the blue diodes are pumping out significantly more light than the green ones, he said. We only see it that way because we are more sensitive to green. Objectively, the blue lights are far brighter. The crabs don't acknowledge the approaching object until it reaches a threshold that triggers a reaction. They don't have very good spatial resolution compared to humans, but they have a very fast escape response. Likewise, the crabs typically have to be in the path of the approaching ball to trigger a response. The crabs are very good at judging trajectory. If a crab is off center, he might not react at all because he can tell the approaching object is not going to hit him. Crabs are especially sensitive to objects that appear higher in their field of vision, like predatory birds. They are far less concerned about objects that appear at eye level or lower, even if those objects might be predators as well. The crabs live in a flat world where anything shorter than the crab would pose little threat. Fiddler crabs makes a nice snack for a myriad of coastal predators, from gulls to raccoons to other crabs. Lynn is one of several UC biologists who are unraveling the secrets of animal vision. Their discoveries can improve the understanding of our own vision deficits and diseases. Okay, I'll leave a link in the description to the full article. And as usual, please like, share, subscribe, and take care.